Hi and welcome to Piano Tutorial Develop Using Animate CC. I'm going to start by clicking Action Strip 3.0. Now right click on the stage and change the size to approximately 920. The background color I'm going to change that to black. And click on OK. There. The next thing I'll do now is to grab the rectangle tool, make sure you, ch you change the color to white and draw about that. Okay, that's fine. If you like, you can always right click on the stage and just show the grill so that you know what you're doing. Okay, then. Now, let me position this very rectangle. Okay, that's how I want it. And I think this, let's check the, okay, let's change the height to approximately 360. And let's bring it down a little bit. There. Now, I'm going to copy this very object. Let's copy it right click and copy okay now this one right here i will now grab the text tool select black color and change and just change the content maybe let's enter a c right letter c on that and let's position it bring it down a little bit right there and let's get it centered all right that is fine now we now select all of these put the c and the white rectangle drawn right click on it let's select it all right click on it select convert to symbol now the name will be c and change that to button make sure it's button you can always enter note C if you want okay. note underscore C there and click on OK that is my first note paste the other one that was copied and let's bring it down there let's bring it right here Let's bring it down right there somewhere there okay now repeat exactly the same thing for this okay enter the text let that be D okay make sure the color is black right and now I'm going to now align it let's take it down all right now paste another one that is copied and let's repeat the same thing for this one and that will be letter E okay the color should be black all right now bring that down okay those three we will use those three to demonstrate what we're going to do so I'm going to now bring these three Let's right click. Okay, let's do it individually. This one first. Let's right click on this and convert it to a symbol and change that to note underscore D. Make sure button is selected. And this one, this will be note underscore E symbol note underscore e there so we have three notes in there the next thing now i will do now is to import my music notes straight onto the library okay now let's go for my music notes i have my music notes right here so I'll just copy it all select it all Okay, and just drag it across. 
there goes my music note. Now, let's double click on C. I'll be using note C right there. So double click on button C, right, and come to where it says down. Right click and select insert keyframe. Now let's drag music note C, drop it on board there. Back to the stage or to the scene, double click on note D. Where it says down, right click and select insert keyframe. Now drag D, note D, music note D. Repeat exactly the same thing for note E. Right click on the down, the down frame insert E there okay let's go back to the scene now with a can now come to control test scene that's C E D and E okay now we'll, we'll now speed it all up now that you guys get the whole idea I'll paste that in there paste a couple more so let me speed this up and get back to you guys okay the first part of the note is ready now so all I just need to do is complete it with the musical note so I will now either double click on double click on it all right right there make sure you press you select down and press F6 or you can just right click and select insert keyframe and right there let's look for C1 I think that is it drag it drop it on board and that's C1 right in there now let's come back to the scene let's double click on D1 repeat the same thing right click select keyframe okay now let's drag d1 as the d1 note there back to the scene double click on e1 button e1 okay the same thing and set e1 let's go for f1 that's f1 there double click and insert F1 right there now let's go to back to our scene if we decide to give this a try let's see go to control and control and just press test scene right there so let's give it a try and see what will happen okay with this we can go for that's fine that is fine okay okay so let's try and complete the other part of the music so what I would do now other part of the note what I would do is I'm going to lock this up okay and let's click in here select new layer now right there i'm going to paste the copied note that is it right there you see that guys and i'll just move it somewhere there the first place i need to change the color to black and let's go to the properties and change that to approximately 180. okay maybe move it down a little bit let's move it down a little bit okay that's fine so this I will now copy this again because I'm going to need it. Now let's select text tool and change that color to white. In there, that will be C C sharp. That's the only bit I know in music. C sharp. Yeah. Click on this selection tool. 
and just tab it and center it take it down that's fine yeah okay now you can always select it and right click select convert symbol and that will be note underscore c sharp click on ok that is that done if you go to straight to the library you can double click on this double click on that very button now come straight to the library where the music is now we need c sharp that is it there c underscore s drag it and just drop it on board that is it no that is incorrect undo that you're supposed to select background i, I want it to be on the ground the bottom down frame okay down frame that is it right there so let's right click on the down frame and select insert frame now let's select c underscore s drop it there that is the c sharp now let's go back to the scene now the copied one make sure the selection tool is selected okay the next one is right here okay about that i move it to the left a little bit yeah okay now select the text tool and change the color to white and in there we enter d sharp if i'm right i think it's called d sharp i don't know i move it down okay now select both the d sharp and the both and the object and just change it to convert a symbol let's give that a name note underscore d sharp there now that's the button ready now double click on that button select the frame down and right click insert keyframe now let's select d sharp right there drag it drop it on board there now back to the scene we only have five more to go so let's do this together then i will speed up the rest okay that is there now select tools and select white and that will be maybe f i don't know if it's called f sharp let's put that there selection tool bring it to the center there okay that's fine so now select it all and just convert it to symbol make sure it's both in note underscore f sharp click on ok so now that you guys get the idea i will now speed this up so that i'll save time and that will be f sharp there okay let's speed that up now okay guys this is how the whole notes look like now so what i'll do is go straight into control let's test it out and i'll start by maybe let's try this out okay yes that's it guys it all works but when you are developing yours make sure the font isn't all that too large okay so let's try and play something Okay, that's not too bad at least I tried so let's try some other notes
and that is how you create your own piano using Animate CC. Please do subscribe and bye for now.